Hey everybody, Mike here. It's here. It's here. The Starlink public beta has officially launched. Equipment is being mailed out as we speak. I've got all the details on how it's rolling out, where it's rolling out, and how much it costs. Coming up. Official invite email is starting going out Monday evening with the subject line Starlink Better Than Nothing Beta. So clearly SpaceX is managing expectations from the start. I've got a ton of details to go through, so I'm just going to dive right in. First up is this Better Than Nothing Beta. So in the email, and I've got a screenshot here, you can see they say download speeds of 50 to 150 megabits per second, latency from 20 to 40 milliseconds, and expected periods of potentially no service at all. To be honest, this is pretty close to what I was expecting based on previous speed test results, with maybe a, a little noticeable bump there on the download speeds. I was expecting it to cap out at 100 megabits per second, but you can see there they're predicting 150 megabits per second. So that's a nice extra. Next up is the costs. So they've broken down the price like this. $499 gets you the Starlink user terminal, the indoor Wi-Fi router, the power supply, all the cables to connect those together, and a tripod mount for the user terminal so you can mount it pointing at the sky. That's in a sense your base package. Then you've got a $99 per month subscription fee. We also know from user reports that on top of that there is a $50 shipping fee and then tax on top of all of that. There are also some optional mounting brackets, uh, what they call a volcano mount and a ridge line mount. I've seen reports that the ridge line mount costs $100 extra and that is ordered separately, but I don't have prices right now on the volcano mount, but judging that it's quite a bit smaller, I'd expect it to be uh, quite a bit cheaper. So maybe half as much as the Ridgeline mount or potentially even better. We don't know yet, but I'll keep you updated as I find out more. So in terms of the pricing, this is actually maybe a little bit higher than people were hoping for the monthly fee. A lot of people had been talking about uh, $80 a month. And I should mention this is all US dollars, but uh, the $99 is definitely very cheap uh, when you look at alternatives for people who are outside of major areas and things like that. The user terminal as well, there were lots of reports that this was going to be the hardest thing to get the cost down with some estimates at $1,000 or even $2,000. So I don't know how much of the uh, price is being subsidized by Starlink, but I think the $499, given all of the components you're getting, is pretty pretty reasonable given the technology that's incorporated into those user terminals with a phased array. So overall, I'm pretty excited by this. For the Ridgeline mount and the Volcano mount, I've also got the PDF installation documents linked below in the description that goes through some more details of what they look like and how they actually get mounted. I'll put out some screenshots here. You can see what it looks like, the overall mount. Uh, you can also see the other components that come in with the package. I love the, uh, the, the bag to put the Starlink user terminal in so you can kind of get up on the roof without you know, risking dropping it. There's also guidance on choosing the mounting location and you can see it highlights the, the kind of viewing angle that we suspected of 100 degrees side to side, from so 50 degrees from vertical in either direction. And that corresponds to the, the, I guess, the allowed 40 degrees from the horizon in terms of the transmit angle up to the uh, satellites in orbit. I've seen some criticism of this uh, diagram showing routing the Ethernet cable on the outside of the host. We'll find out more once the equipment is received, but there are specific requirements under the National Electric Code on how to run wire even low voltage wire like ethernet that goes from outside a building into a building. And it's specific on the grounding and, and termination that that requires. 
So it'll be interesting to see whether that is incorporated into the power supply or if potentially this is something the homeowner has to do for themselves. And then here we've got the volcano mount, which is pretty similar instructions, but just a little bit more detailed in terms of actually putting bolts into the roof of your home and uh, some basic guidance on how to try to avoid leaks in your roof. So very important to follow the instructions. And if you're not comfortable, definitely hire uh, an installer who's familiar with this type of mounting. Way back in April, Elon Musk tweeted out a, a rough timeline for the private and then public beta. And in short, he pretty much nailed it. So the invites first started going out on Monday the 26th. And the next day, people have been reporting they've got tracking numbers from FedEx. And one report that they actually have now a delivery estimate two days from now. So we should expect that people will start receiving their Starlink equipment as soon as Thursday and potentially Friday this week, which is amazing. I've got a map here which shows the states where we have confirmed public beta participants. And you can see it's largely what you'd expect all along the northern states. Primarily on the west coast right now, we don't have anything really east. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how that develops as well. I've got more details on the hardware, but first, if you're getting value from this video, click the like button down below. I'm expecting over the coming days to get a ton more information about the Starlink public beta. So subscribe as well and click the bell icon so you get notified of updates as soon as I post the video. Now some pretty good news. From the installation guide of the mounting brackets, at the bottom, check out the PDF below, there's a little section on people who don't want to use the Wi-Fi. And this key section here is that it says you can plug your computer directly into the white port on the power supply, which means you can completely ignore the Wi-Fi router provided by Starlink and just go directly from the user terminal to the power supply, and then from the power supply into your own networking equipment, either directly into your computer or into your own router. And that really, I guess, requires that the power supply, at least on the white port, is smart enough to only apply power when required, which probably means it's using one of the official IEEE standards for power over ethernet, which is pretty nice. Uh, that will allow you to use your own equipment and your own networking inside your house. Another little tidbit from the same guide, there's a troubleshooting section where it talks about if your user terminal can't find a signal. And one of the, the, the remedies or things to check is, uh, are you installing your user terminal in the address that you provided when you made your order? So it kind of suggests that maybe there's some level of, of locking that your user terminal is tied to a particular location. Or potentially it just means if you're putting it somewhere else, it might be a, a zone with no coverage if you've gone much further off the, uh, the kind of home address that you supplied. So a bit too early to tell. I'm hoping that some of the very first public beta participants We'll, we'll pick it up and move it and just see what happens and let us all know. So more updates as soon as I know more. Next up, I'll look at the terms of service and there's a couple highlights here. First up, there does not appear to be any NDA. So the private beta had a non-disclosure agreement which prevented anybody from sharing any details about that private beta, which made, um, a lot of what I was sharing, speculation and guessing based on the information that was available. In the public beta starting this week, that does not appear to be a restriction that's on there. So we should be hearing a lot more about the beta as soon as people start getting their equipment. So super excited there. Second, there does not appear to be any contract. So there's no one-year lock-in, no two-year lock-in. You pay the $4.99 to get the equipment, and then you pay $99 a month for your usage. In the first month, 
If you're not happy with it, you can return everything and get a full refund. After that, you can just cancel your service at any time and stop paying the $99 per month. So that is a lot of flexibility, which is great. So thumbs up to Starlink for that as well. The next one, and it's a big one, so far there's no mention of any data caps on the service. From the comments on all my previous videos, this is huge, particularly for anybody who's currently using another satellite service provider or an LTE provider. Data caps seem to be really the bane of existence for these services. So the fact that we're not seeing any data caps so far with the Starlink service is gonna make a lot of people very happy. This next little tidbit from the terms of service on the governing law I thought was interesting. I'm gonna put up a screenshot here. The first part is pretty boilerplate, but when you get about halfway down, it starts talking about the governing law on Mars and on your way to Mars. And it seems like they just slipped this in here, but just be aware that by signing the terms of service, you might be lending your support to an independent Mars that is separate and not governed by boring old Earth government. So interesting and future looking there. Um, it'll be interesting to see if governments sign this as well to get access to Starlink. We'll see. Comment down below if you got your invite email and have placed your order. Let me know where you are. I'll update my map. Um, or let me know if you're like me and still patiently waiting for the invite so that you have that opportunity to get started with Starlink. I'm expecting a ton of new details over the coming days and weeks, so stay tuned for updates. Subscribe down below and I'll keep the information coming. Thank you everyone for watching. See you next time.